it's you mean man here double h half hope i'm here to preview perhaps one of the most irrelevant matches um that i've ever seen in a very long time so we have to pull out the mail Atletico Madrid have a 0% chance of going through. Anybody who thinks otherwise doesn't understand football or is slightly crazy because that's right there is a is a, a played fact. So there's there's nothing to argue about. But for the purpose of this preview, we still have to try and actually say what do Atletico Madrid have to do to somehow um achieve the Im Impossible. Atletico, they messed up. And I wrote to UEFA. I spoke to a few UEFA officials and I asked them. I pleaded with them. I said, please, can you invoke the forfeits rule? I spoke to Diego Simeone and to the boss at Atletico. I said, guys, use the forfeits rule. And for some reason, they said no. Like, fair enough. Because I just felt that the forfeits rule would have been very apt. So, let's take to ourselves that Atletico are going into this game playing at a swim against a team who are free scoring. I remember, this is a Real Madrid team who they are perfectly fine to play away from home. Perfectly fine. So, this doesn't really mean anything to them. And it's as simple as this. As I said again, Atletico Madrid have a 0% chance. A 0% chance. Don't give me one or so. 0% chance. They have no chance. But if they don't score in the first 10 minutes, it's over. So the main thing for them for Atletico is that do you have they have to completely vastly change their approach. From the first leg. At the first leg, I told you, they were garbage. Awful. I don't think they actually managed any shots on target. So, the thing that I know, that I thought I knew, was physical, pragmatic, you know, plain, direct, simple kind of, kind of football. But it was almost as if they were trying to play a passing game. And Griezmann, shocking. Absolutely shocking. So, um... For Real Madrid, I fully believe that they're going to go in there to try and win the game. Because Zidane's Real Madrid, they only play one way. They don't, they don't have the whole defensive gene in there. They don't know how to defend. They don't know how to hold on or to consolidate. They only play one way, and that is full-blown, full-on attack. So they know they're going to go there to... If Arasogo hit them, they will count them, and they will use the speed of Cristiano to hold the ball up get wide, create space, and to cut in on the inside and really stretch at Atletico. Use Benzema as a totem pole. I repeat, Benzema is garbage. Benzema is garbage. And if Benzema stays and Morata goes, I'm going to be very, very pissed off because that is very anti-football. Um, hopefully, we'll see, we'll see Is Isco playing. I think Isco will be very... Even if he may not have the speed, I just think his, his um, control of the football and his ability to always make the right decisions and to be able to cut through and find space and to create space for himself because of his footballing brain will be useful still in the counter that Real Madrid will, will get. So for Atletico, you say to yourself, okay, how do they approach this? What do they do? How do they move forth? Um, and to be honest, and guys, I'm being very honest with you. This match is pointless. <laughs> this match is pointless. And it's only pointless because of Atletico. I blame them. I blame them for that piece of crap, garbage performance that, that they put forth in the first place. That useless, nonsense performance. I, I blame them. That is why they're now in the situation that they're in right now. So, um, personally for me, you know, um, this... This is a, a dud. I don't. Do you honestly believe that Atletico can, can score three goals against Real Madrid? Three goals without reply. It, it doesn't happen. But for it to even for there to even be any kind of shred of anything, they have to score in the first ten minutes. 
if they concede in the first minute, which I think they will, I feel the referee should, should blow the whistle. Save us all the trouble because we already know what's going to happen. This we are Juventus and Real Madrid will be playing a June third final. The final that everybody wanted, and it is what is going to happen. Okay, this is what will happen. So for Real, um, I expected to actually to go there and to try and expose Atletico even more. Similar to what Juventus did to Monaco, so what Juve did to Monaco, they beat them twice. You know, and I want to hundred percent believe that Real Madrid will win this game. They're gonna go in there and they're gonna win this game. Um, and I think their approach and the attack is going to really restrict Atletico having having any attacks because Atletico will spend their time trying to defend so much and they will get exposed because I think for Atletico they will know that we can't possibly try and play a careful approach game. We can't try and play a balanced game because there's no point. We're playing in front of our home fans. I believe this is the final Madrid derby at the Vicente Calderon. We have to go out with, with a bang. So 100% they want to win the game. They definitely want to win the game. But they want to try and put themselves in a good position to at least give themselves some extra, a little bit, a bit of hope. Um, so lo and behold, I mean, I don't see them stopping the thrust of Marcelo. I don't see them keeping Tony Cruz and Modric quiet. I think Christian is going to score again because he's obsessed with scoring, especially against Atletico at the crib. Um, I think Ramos and Brown will hold it down. It's great that they have that defensive partnership. So, um, I'm going to give you a scoreline. Because that's, that's what, what, what you want. I'm going to give you a scoreline. Remember, if you use my scoreline and you win any money, I, I, I get half. That's, that's how half it works. So, scoreline... Um, scoreline, is that what you want? Three one, three one to Real Madrid. Real Madrid gonna go in there, and they're gonna they're gonna slice them. They're gonna fly them. They're gonna spice them up. They're gonna spice that ass up. So, hundred percent, Real Madrid will win the game. That's a fact. They will win the game, and they will win three one, three one to Real Madrid. So, there's still time. There's still time. I think let's go. You can still go to UEFA and say. Guys, Jeffrey or whoever the president is, please, can we invoke the forfeits rule? And there is nothing wrong. You should not be embarrassed about it. Because many, many people will support it. Save us all the trouble. If not, you're going to get, get beat 3-1. That, that's a fact because you messed up and you you just you embarrassed yourselves in that first leg. 3-1, Real Madrid. Watch for my post-match analysis afterwards.